What's up and welcome back to another video. Now, I have to say, the only thing I probably like more than synthesizers and Ruffles the Cat is reverb pedals. And today I have probably my favorite reverb pedal that's ever come out to showcase for you guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys why I truly think the Maris Mercury X is the perfect reverb pedal for synthesizers. Now, last year I reviewed the Maris LVX, which you should check out above if you haven't already, and pretty quickly it became my favorite pedal of the year and just overall one of my favorite studio tools. Now, the thing I loved the most about the LVX was the UI and the modular nature of the pedal. Now, with the Mercury X, Maris have taken everything that made the LVX great and applied it to reverb. As always, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. We're just about at 25K subscribers. And now let's jump to a demo song with effects from only the Maris Mercury X. Now for the demo track, every single effect you hear was created using only the Maris Mercury X. I fed it completely dry material. For this beautiful piano, I used Preset 3 Spectrum Shift. For the main plucking melody, I used a delay preset, number 4, Half Speed Hold. For the synth pads and vocals, I used a mix of Ultra Plate and Gravity. For the drums, I created a custom gated reverb using the 78 Hall algorithm. For the strings and live Fender Rhodes, I used the Gravity once again. And for these synth plucks, I went more experimental and used this preset into Dust as well as a couple custom presets I created. Now before we get too deep under the hood, a good place to start would be the 8 reverb algorithms that come with Mercury X. Now these are sort of your starting building blocks to build complex sounds off of, and all 8 of them sound great. Each of the 78 reverbs is taken from the coveted CXM78 pedal.
My personal favorites have to be the 78 Hall and the Cathedral Reverb, but they all sound amazing and have their own uses. Next, here are a few custom presets that I programmed for Mercury X, just to give you an idea of the sheer versatility of the pedal. This first patch is classic ambient, with the gravity reverb, a ton of pitching, lo-fi modulation, and more. In this patch, I created a custom gated diffused delay. Now, let's jump onto the front panel and find out how this thing works. All right, so here we are on the front panel of the Mercury X. And if it seems intimidating at first, it's actually super straightforward. If we don't even wanna get behind the screen and do any sort of menu diving or sound design, right off the bat, we already have just classic controls for reverb pedal, like mix, Decay, pre-delay, this amazing sounding modulation. If you just wanna tweak presets and then use the onboard knobs, you can, because on top of these main knobs that are fixed, we also have our two favorites knobs. The foot switches are for changing presets or bank up, bank down. And the final control, one of my favorites, is the hold modifier. Now by default, this is assigned to freeze. So if I play a chord, we now have an infinite frozen reverb and you can assign it to a whole bunch of different parameters inside the pedal. So next up, let's get under the hood and create our own sound. So again, it's dead easy. We start off here with our reverb section. I'm gonna go to Cathedra. Now we've got three pages of parameters for this reverb. So we'll start off by adding a little bit of modulation. Uh, we can of course change our decay, really short, all the way to really long. Let's add some pitch, an octave up. Diffusion control. Just a few tweaks and we've got already just a fantastic sounding shimmer reverb. But um, let's jump back to the pre-delay section here. This is one of the most powerful parts of the pedal and one of my absolute favorites. So. If we turn down the decay here, you can hear there's a pre-delay. With no pre-delay, the reverb starts immediately, and with lots and lots of pre-delay, you hear the delay there. Now, this is really cool, and I've never seen a reverb pedal that does this. So we can actually add Feedback. So remember, our decay is pretty much non-existent. So we're just gonna hear the pre-delay only without reverb. So if we add a bunch of feedback. We've suddenly got a delay pedal. Now, we can just go ahead and tweak our pre-delay a little bit here. We have the three original delay types from the LVX, with my favorite being, of course, magnetic tape delay. We can change the subdivisions. We can add modulation to the delay, which is so cool. We can make it half speed, which will give us an octave lower with a bunch of artifacts. Let's turn up our, uh, our pre-delay here a little bit here at time. All right, let's move on from the basic reverb and delay. Now, each of these categories has a ton of amazing effects, both new and returning ones from the LVX for you to discover. I'm not gonna go through all of them today because we'd be here all day, but let's move on to what I think this sound does need, which is a bit of high pass filtering on the post reverb bus. Let's go check this out. So we'll find our high pass. Where is that? Got it. And then we'll play some notes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Really important in my opinion to high pass your reverb for synths because synths have so much bass and this will really help them cut through. Beautiful. Now, we already do have a bit of subtle pitching, but if we go ahead and we put this on our pre, we can actually pitch up our dry sound as well, which is so cool. Or pitch it down. Now that sounds amazing. That sub octave below is beautiful. I absolutely love it. But my favorite effects section by far has to be the modulation effects. Now, my personal favorites, I mean, I just love the sound of the chorus on the Mercury Rex. Let me actually turn off the reverb so you can hear. They have a vibrato as well, which is great. You know I absolutely love putting vibrato on my sounds, makes them sound nostalgic and awesome. But without getting distracted, my two favorites have to be the vowel mod. Like this is far more customizable. We can change the vowel sounds for each of the different formants. We can change resonance. And we can change the speed of the modulation too. Beautiful. But the one we're gonna use for today is the brand new Hazy, which is definitely my personal favorite. Now this is kind of like the lo-fi tape one from the LVX, but it just works on synthesizers. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll play with that more in a second, but let's turn back up our reverb. I mean, that right there could have just been the start of the song. The soundscapes are incredible. Now let's go ahead and uh, change the age a little bit. Let's make it as old as it possibly can be. We'll turn up the decimation. We can control the lows. I actually prefer this sound without too many lows though, so. Beautiful. And finally, just like the LVX, we have the same amazing modulation system, including LFOs, envelopes, and even a sequencer that we can assign to pretty much anything on the pedal. Let's go ahead and assign this to something really cool, like the bit crush uh, section of our modulation. Let's see here. When we turn the LFO all the way up, it adds almost audio rate modulation, which is super complex and interesting sounding. And I think that's where we'll leave it for this sound for today. So while we're only scratching the surface, hopefully that gives you a brief understanding of just how immensely powerful and majestic sounding the Mercury X is. Everything from the sound choice, the UI, the algorithms, the modulation effects, and the way that you can design your own custom modular sounds feels tailor-made for sound designers and synthesists like myself. But that's where I'm gonna wrap things up for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe if you did. Let's wrap things up with a couple of stock factory presets that you can check out for how the pedal sounds.